And one of the greatest ways I believe we can invest in our lives here at Champion Life Church is through Champion University. Yeah. This past year, we had uh, 83, 86 students that have been a part of Champion University. And as we hear the testimonies, it has changed their lives. It has changed their lives. In fact, I want to have uh, Teresa come up and share just for a moment what Champion Life Champion University has meant to her. Teresa, can we give her a hand as she comes up? Because she needs encouragement. Good morning. Actually, when I came to uh, Champion Life Church, I came in and uh, Pastor, first of all, Pastor wrote a book called um, Increasing Your Personal Capacity. If you have not read it, you need to read it. But when I came in, I had what he calls the law of hard mm -hmm. on top of me. That means my life was so hard. And just to give you a little background for those that don't know, and many of you do, my husband um, was very ill, and we had been running all over the place trying to find out what it was. Um, it had a form of dementia, but we didn't know what it was. I'm going to tell you, I lost my peace. The Word of God is on the inside of me, but I had lost my peace. I ran to this church, friends from our, my past church, called me up, told me where to get to. I came. Dennis Pulsifer saw me with my head up against the window, like open, open, open. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but actually, once I got in here, I didn't stop because I found out, and I didn't know about your book then, and I didn't know what the law of hard meant. But I did know that when you're in a hard place, you run to the rock. Yes. You run to God. You don't run from him. So I was running as hard and fast as I could. And then once the book was put in my hand, I found out that I needed something on the inside to drive as hard as the enemy was driving me. Yes. And he had me so bottled down on the inside that my peace had just vanished. I ran out here, brought my husband over to Eisenhower, and I ran to the church, got plugged in, came in, and you had something called fast track. Mm -hmm. That's what Champion University. I got on fast track, my daughter Alex and I, and then the enemy said, well, wait a minute, we're going to turn up the fire a little bit more. My sister was going through a divorce. She has two children. And the enemy said, oh, you can't help her. What can you do? I did it. She came to live with me so to put the fire and the weight a little bit heavier, but I was running hard anyway. So Alex and I jumped on the fast track. We went through every class, one after the other. Now I'm going to do a little survey here just for all of us. I want, and just, just, just work with me here. Everyone that has gone to any class at Champaign University, stand to your feet. Just stand up. If you've gone to just even one class, just stand up. Okay, turn around, wave at everybody, let them see you. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, now out of Champaign University, there is, now we've got Timothy training going on. I want everyone now from Champaign University to now sit down. Sit down. Okay. I'm just letting you see that Champaign University gets you on the path. The Word of God says that the man of God should write the vision and we will run with it. Those that read it, run with it. You can't run with a vision for a church if you don't know what it is. Yeah. Champaign University has all the classes to get you started. We started in discovery class. Alex and I walked in and, and we heard this. We've been waiting for you. Here's your seat. And we were like, whoa, this is like airy fairy. This is so spooky. But anyway, we came in. <laughs> but once we got in, I learned about the church, how we we're going to build the church. I learned what, um, and, and just to back it up a little bit, the enemy had me bound up. Now, my husband and I used to pray for people that were sick. Now, he's sick. So he told me, you're not going to pray for anybody else. He had me locked down on the inside. I know the word of God, but I couldn't get myself loose. And a friend, of, a friend of mine told me, he says, only a fool stands on an island by himself. Okay? This church's philosophy is we, do, we don't do life alone. That's right. So I ran in with a vengeance. I think I told you both, get out of the way because <laughs> I don't want to knock you down. But I ran in, they gave me tissue boxes, and my, I'm, I'm so serious, once I got in, I went through discovery, builders, leaders, all the classes, but I went to encounters. Encounters unlocked me. I came into encounters class, and I'm telling you, what was bottled down on the inside of me that I couldn't get out, I wouldn't pray for people anymore, after my encounter with God, and that's what encounters class is, I was just loose forever. Come then on. we, then we, then I stepped up. We finished Champion University, and Timothy training started. 
And the enemy came to me and he says, you know, like, how are you going to do this? You've got a family living with you. You're a husband. You're a caregiver for your husband. You've got your daughter in college. You've got too much going on. How are you going to do this? Well, I got in my closet. I got in my prayer closet and I got before the Lord and he told me to stretch out. You know, when you get saved, you just choose life over death. But you don't stop there. You keep moving. You keep going. You keep growing. And in, this, in the book, uh, Increasing Your Personal Capacity, it says we are growing to where we're going, or we're not going anywhere. And so we began to grow. I started to grow in what I needed to learn, and it pushed the pressure off of me. My peace came back. I started praying for people. I was in a class called Timothy Training. Where are my Timothy Training comrades? Stand up. There you are. Yay. Yeah, went to Timothy Training. And, you know, we have a mandate from God. Jesus made it simple. He said, feed the, the poor, pray for the sick. You know, he teach the word. That's what we're to do. So you have to step up and step out into that. But I tell you, I got my peace back. I got my, the ministry that God has called me to do back. And I've been on fire ever since. It's like the word of God is shut up in my bones. He says that. I got on fire. And I tell each and every one of you, just step up. Step up and step out there and get your mind off yourself. And once you start helping and ministering to other people, God will take care of your business while you're taking care of his. And I, I just love it. I I'm, I'm, I'm just love it. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So why don't you just tell us how you really feel? So Champion University starts next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. And uh, so I, can I encourage you? If you've taken one or two classes, then go out. Take all, there's five foundational classes. Make sure you've taken all the foundational classes. So get registered to take those classes. 